Let's go to uh, women's college basketball, which in many people's eyes is right now hotter than men's college basketball. I would say, Rob, I'm, I'm a little more excited about the women's tournament than I am about the men's tournament. I'm, I'm going to watch both. I'm going to be in the both. But, you know, South Carolina and the women's, you know, undefeated, uh, going for the championship, LSU with Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark and Iowa Page, Beckers, Connecticut. Like, it's some some individuals and some teams, that, some really, really good storylines. And then last week, of course, you had the little brouhaha between South Carolina and LSU, the players. So even a little bit of drama uh, in the women's tournament. Um, but there was an interesting article, Rob, written in USA Today. Today, It was by Lindsey Schnell. And um, the title was Women's Basketball Needs Faces of Future to be Black. Enter Juju Watkins and Hannah Hidalgo. Uh, I guess the the power line, if you will, in the story, Rob, was uh, in a game built by black women, it matters that the faces of the future look like the faces of the past. Um, she's talked. She talked a little bit about how, you know, the the she feels like. Well, here's I'll just read it. Over the past few years, as women's basketball has exploded in popularity, much of the media and marketing attention has focused on three prominent white players, Caitlin Clark, UConn Jr. Paige Beckers, and Oregon's Sabrina Ionescu, I'm I'm mispronouncing it, Inescu, uh, who graduated in 2020. She, of course, is the one that, you know, had the three-point shootout with Steph. So, Rob, what are your thoughts on this? Um, the WNBA also has pointed out 70% black, very close to the NBA, which is about 73, 74% black. So what are your thoughts on this? I, 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 don't, know, I don't know how you're going to manipulate that when a player, the Caitlin situation, Chris, I don't know how you are going to push someone else. And Juju's having an unbelievable year at USC. Okay, she she's on pace already her, her rookie year, and I know this, Chris, because I work at USC yeah, and we right, do a sports right. show. You know, we do a sports show every Wednesday, and they talk about her. You know what I mean? Right, every right. every week, so I know about Juju and her stats and what she's doing, and she's on pace to beat Caitlin's record. Like she's right. already her freshman year, Chris has been that great that she's on a better pace than Caitlin. So she could be the next big thing. You right, know what I mean? Right, Come four right. years from now. But the idea now you're talking about marketing and whatnot. We we also know uh, the country and the that we live in, which is major, majority white. Right. So so we do know that. And a lot of times, 60, if you can, you would, white. Chris, alter or or present not in all cases because if that was the case the NFL wouldn't be 69 70 percent black and and NBA wouldn't be 75 percent black if if you were just playing those numbers you know what I mean right. so so that that that's you know and pushing somebody ahead no it's about talent and we're supposed to live in a world where more so than anything else Chris sports is the only place where once you get on the field, it's supposed to be equal footing for everybody and the best win. That's why the the, the white the, – how many black owners are there in the NBA? None, right? Not a – Michael Jordan's giving up his team, right? Right. None. Not majority. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, majority owner. Well, I, I – and I, I like I, – go ahead. Let, let me just say this. So, so in, you know, we know this, Chris – because the last time I remember when Boston and Utah played a game, Dick Heinsohn, I mean, um, uh, what's his name? Heinsohn. Uh, Tommy Heinsohn. Tommy Heinsohn. And Dick Stockton were doing a game on CBS. I'll never forget it. And it was a, a blowout that game. a long time ago. Chris, on CBS. And it was a blowout game. And both coaches emptied their benches and put 10 players out on the court. I'll never forget it. Tommy Heinsohn said, 
Hey, if you got your TV set up to a VCR, record this. This will be the last time you ever see 10 white players in the NBA on the court at the same time. I give the guy credit because he thought of it. When Chris, was that? In the 80s? I think 80, whenever C, the like CBS's last year of having the game Maybe before they moved to NBC. I don't know. Uh, go Google it. You probably, I mean, uh, YouTube it. I bet you well, you'll get it. the bottom line, yeah. Like, but I what mean, I'm I, just I, saying is you can't, you can't uh, pick talent based on anything other than talent. The, like, what, like, yeah, like, the playing like, field is objective. You put two guys in a boxing ring, on a track, uh, on a basketball court, football field, baseball diamond. If you want to win, you got to take the best one. It's obvious who's best, better. And if you want to win, you got to take the better player, whether black, white, green, red, yellow, whatever. And that's why African-Americans have been able to excel in sports because it's just been objective. All the little biases and prejudices that in corporate America can keep blacks out can't on the field if you want to win. They did right? it. They did and it, Chris, they still, until they, they did real, it to quarterback right. as long as they could. Right. And they Let's did keep it, it real. And now right. you're the, 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 that wall's finally been broken. Rob, I, I think, I, I feel, I, don't, I disagree with the article. And I think, I feel like it's pandering. To black people. Uh, what we want is equal opportunity. We want black girls and black boys to be able to have as, just as much of a shot at playing sports in the big time as kids of any other race. And they, you have that in women's basketball. She, she said WNBA 70% black. You got it in basketball. You got it in sports. So if the white players, if some of them end up being better, if the best players end up being white... I, as long as we got the opportunity, I'm fine with it. And I think a Caitlin Clark is so popular because the same reason Steph, she's shooting shots. She's a great player, obviously, but she's taking shots from distances that we haven't regularly seen in the women's game. And that's what we saw. That's why people fell in love with Steph because he did that and he was winning and he's black, obviously. And I feel like it's pandering because what we need more than another great black basketball player are more blacks in the front office, more blacks in ownership, more blacks running the athletic departments or having high-ranking positions in these schools. Heck, more black students at these schools. US, UCLA is about 2 3% black. USC is probably not very high either. That's what we need more of than just more athletes. And so, and I feel also, Rob, like she, the article pointed out how black women who built the sport haven't been acknowledged. And obviously there's, there's was, you know, been racism in the past that they faced. But I, I don't know. I think the problem, Rob, is the WNBA is not popular. And when, we'll see if Caitlin Clark, remember it was written, she did Michael Jordan. We'll see. Because you and, and you, I think and you she's going to go and you to the know, WBA I don't, you and know, I don't, disappear. Right. I don't think that's going to happen, even nah, with her, Chris. She'll get some commercials. She'll, right, no, she'll probably I, have some commercials and all that. And they but might we'll sell tickets in Indiana. They'll sell right. tickets in Indiana. But but we'll see. I, the league has been around for 20, some, 28 years. How long has it been around? Since 96, Chris? Like, it's been a while. I mean, Brittany Grinder was huge. And we don't hear as much about her. I mean, obviously, she had the issue in Russia. But, I mean, as far as just for basketball, we don't hear as much about her because the WNBA is not that hot. Diana Taurasi, Elena Deladon, Lauren Jackson, do they get more publicity or more love than Cynthia Cooper and Cheryl Swoops and you know, Maya Moore, some of the great black. I, I, I don't think so. I mean, I look at w, the ESPN pregame show, Rob. They got Shanae, the WNBA player. She's black on there, on the pregame show. Like, I can't sit here and say, I, I just think that Caitlin Clark and Paige Beckers are really good and exciting players. And when, you know, and you do have black players like that, too. And they'll get the publicity, too, if they dominate like I, these. I girls. totally agree. I think Juju, Chris... In her time, and she's a freshman at USC. Yep. It'll happen for her because she's that dynamic. 
from the stuff I've seen, she shoots from all over the court as well. And Caitlin is one of those situations. There's no way you can ignore that. I, right. I just, just I, yeah. I did the the notion, and and you might if you want to write another article, and say um, the shame of the the shame of the exposure of Caitlyn is that I can list you five or six people who did real extraordinary things who got nothing. That that's fine. But but to say that the 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 future they gotta be black gotta be right. What that's if they where, aren't the best players? We we talked about it, Chris. Uh, Major League Baseball, right? They wanted who did they want um, from the Angels? Oh my God, Mike Trout. They want Mike Trout would have been the perfect All American guy, Chris. Good looking, big, strong, right? right? All that stuff. Great baseball player. Don't have the personality. Right? Didn't work. Right. Right. Shohei Otani, you can say whatever you want. The ratings prove it. The jersey sales prove it, Chris. I was at spring training. They're 10 rows deep watching batting practice. Do you know what I mean? The fa- like, like what? What? Are, yeah, you, you're going to try to squeeze somebody else in? Right. Because right. he's from Japan? No. Right. Your, game no. Will, your game will speak, speak for it. Absolutely. Your game will draw the attention. And like you said, Juju, I think they will get, you know, the attention. If Juju um, if Juju passes Caitlin Chris, how, how won't she? Right. Right. She's going to get she cuz Caitlin, we weren't hearing as much about her a few years ago, earlier. It was just year. the last 2 years to right. be honest. She she emerged. And so yeah, I mean, we like I said, we want equal opportunities. We want just as much of a chance to play, excel and be treated like everybody else. And once you get that, may the best player yeah. get the most I, attention. That, yeah. I mean, the, the only issue I have, you might want to say that some black women might have been slighted along the way, and I'm not going to dispute that, Chris. But to say that the face of the sport has to be black women, I, 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 I can't even get in line with that. Rob, we're even saying, and I thought a few years ago that I didn't say the face necessarily had to be an American of the NBA. I just thought it would be hard for the face of the league not to be American. I don't feel that way anymore. No, I mean, we, too good. The, the first team All NBA is going to be a bunch five international players. Chris, they're and too good. We talk How are you about deny we those lament, guys? Right, we lament. Let's get some more great American players. But if they're not, if they, long as they got the same opportunities, which obviously they do, if these guys are just better, it is what it is. Chris, look. How about this? The NBA. It's been a long time in coming since a Larry Bird came around. Like, think about the I, white, I actually the white have players wanted to see a great white American. But play. from this right, from this country, like, yeah. like where where are they? The next, I think Chet Holmgren's going to be one. He he's I think he's going he's going to be at least a star. We'll I, we'll see if he can be a superstar. But Larry uh, Bird was was just oh my god when him and Magic nah, came out of college. Star. And that championship game, college basketball, still the highest rated, Chris, and probably will always be. Oh, yeah, um, it will. That, you know, that, just because of that, the landscape now, it'll definitely yeah. always be. Am I right? Uh, yeah. Nah, it was, it, was a, it was phenomenal. 